Okay, well, we're doing uh, One Piece Space Princess. Basically, she is a ball, a cloud of purple. So, what I did there is just took balls and squashed them all together of the purple. And it's got glitter in it. If you can see. Oh, and I um, blended them together. Which is how you... I left that bit so I could show you. That's how you blend together. You can get a tool for it, but... You know, it's easier. She has a star, which was really hard to do, on her head. Like so. Actually, I might trim that. I might trim that little star point. I don't like how long it is. There we go. Okay, we've got the star. And basically she has... That's not basically she has black eyes balls of black clay before you push them down make sure they're in the right spot and they're not too big because you can basically um, eyeball see that that one is bigger see that one is bigger. And you basically can eyeball. See how one's bigger than the other? If I squashed them down then it would have looked stupid and I would have somehow cried. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. But um I would have somehow got it off. So that's they're more similar in size. About the size of a peppercorn actually is what they look, look like and I'm pretty sure you can give it any facial expression that you like Oops. I saw the facial expression before where her face she had a big black mouth with um, screaming. So I don't think we'll do that. What we'll do is just a straightforward, um, straight mouth. So you roll out a skinny, skinny, skinny snake of black. That's probably too big. So I might have to cut it more. I mean, I have not done. I have not seen a tutorial on her at all. So I've done the straight mouth. There probably is tutorials, but I haven't seen it. I'm just going by what I've seen on the internet. So we're going to get some of the same colour clay, work it until it's easy to roll. And uh, roll little snakes. And her arms, her arms are pretty much heaps long compared to her body. So, and um, we flatten one end. can go and stick on the back of her. We'll do it there. Well, we might do it a bit higher. We could probably do with half that length actually. Ok, 
scary. And basically, she's just really cranky all the time, so. And I don't blame her if I look like that, I'd be pretty cranky too. So you can basically pose these arms in any position you want. I'm going to have her kind of like with her hands on her hips. <laughs> if you were a purple cloud, that's where your hip would be. <laughs> so we just got to make the other arm. And do basically the same... Uh, flatten one end stick it on and there we go we have a cranky face lumpy princess um, you can put little hand little uh, what do you call it Little finger. And finger markings. I don't even know if she has fingers, but I'd be pretty upset if I didn't. So there we go. Final product. Um, that could have been blended in a bit more. Okay, if I'm not sure if that's what she looks like, but I'd say so. Um, <laughs> she looks pretty upset, doesn't she? Anyway, if it was a charm, you'd put the eye pin at the top and put the eye pin in before it's in the oven. And then you glaze it afterwards. I use um, triple sick to glaze my charms. But um, if you like please subscribe and leave a comment down below but there we go the person who gave me these ideas um, I'm not sure if she did a, cha a tutorial on this but the person who gave me the idea was um, a funky funky pink girl so credit to her anyway thanks guys um, leave comments and so forth if you want me to do any um, tutorials on anything um, just leave a comment down below and I'll give it a go thanks for watching